Hello Coaches Desk family Coach Minzi here with the Coaches Desk And we are here to give you another video people Really appreciate the support that you have been giving us And um, definitely we tell you thanks Big up to the persons who have already uh, made purchase From the merch store, big up on yourself Thanks for the views, thanks for the likes And definitely thanks for tuning in to the show For day after day and triple treat week after week you know what i mean so not so good news that 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 we are going to be reporting right now um yeah it's not so good news you know, because the press officer of of the reggae boys earl bailey um made a tweet today that jamaica's world cup campaign is doomed if the fifa doesn't force the english teams to release players for national games in red list countries yeah so the regular boys would have to, you know, hasten to get a, a, a squad ready. And what he used uh, definitively was to host up a squad, a new squad, to face Mexico, Panama, Costa Rica, which he deemed as being catastrophe. Yeah? So that, 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 that's what is, 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 is reaching us right now. And it's not a good look because definitely... Um, I think that the, the squad probably would have been named already and uh, um, English players would have been in it. You have the likes of Kemar Roof, um, Mikel Antonio. Um, well, Kemar Roof is over in Scotland, but he's part of the UK, uh, I believe. Um, Antonio, Leon Bailey, Bobby Reed, Dylan Barnes, Wes Arden. Uh, Amari Bell I mean uh, a, a few players that, that this thing will affect and that's basically quite a number of our players you have Daniel Johnson, Ravel Morrison yeah, man, uh, uh, close to about 14 players I mean Adrian Mariapa you have Liam Moore as well Adrian Mariapa is not with a club presently so I, I think probably he'll be exempted but a, a, a few of our players, man, they won't be available because of this. Yeah. But uh, on the heels of that, the Premier League um, won't release players to red list countries for World Cup. So the Premier League clubs will not release players called up for international duty if they are playing matches in a country on the UK's coronavirus red list. To prevent them from having to quarantine on their return to England. Now that's what the league said people. They said it today. And uh, that was done after a unanimous vote by member clubs. So the clubs are protecting their investment. Now it was an extensive discussion. That would have taken place um, with both the FA and the government to find a solution. But due to the ongoing public health concerns relating to the incoming travelers from red list countries, no exemption has been granted, the league said in a statement. So the, the fact that no exemption has been granted, that's why they would have uh, made a decision like that. Because they, like I said before, they, they are really protecting uh, their investment. Um, you have countries like Brazil, Chile, Argentina and Peru. And they are all on the British government's red list of countries that trigger a 10-day hotel quarantine on return. So the ballers, they would have to miss um, um, 10 days and all of that. The, 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 the teams don't want that to happen to their players. Yeah. Um, the, the executive, um, the chief executive of the Premier League, Richard Marshall said, and I quote, Premier League clubs have always supported their players' desires to represent their countries. This is a matter of pride for all concerned. However, however, clubs have reluctantly but rightly come to the conclusion that it would be entirely unreasonable to release players under these new circumstances. And I did say it, they are actually protecting their investment. Can't go around that. Yeah? Can't go around that. So, I mean... Quarantine requirements mean that players' welfare and fitness will be significantly impacted. Uh, so they understand that the challenges that exist in the international match calendar and remain open to 
a workable solution. So it is it's 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 a dire situation. It 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 seems like a doom and gloom, but they are still open for um something in terms of a solution to this problem. Premier League sides would be particularly hard hit by FIFA's decision to extend a mandatory release period from nine to eleven days to enable triple headers in South America and also strict England quarantine rules. Uh boy, this is a this is a this is a this is a tough situation, people. Very tough situation. I definitely hope that this can be um sorted out. But it it it, it seems like the red list country, it seems to be in the red. <laughs> you know? It seemed to be in the red. And um Whoa. Trust me. Who want this to sort out, man? But like I said, it seemed to be in the red like the red list countries. I mean, we, 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 we have to go and, 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 and secure some players right now so that we can have at least a, a team ready to face Mexico. Not the best of team, but whichever um, 23 selected now, definitely we have to support it. Might not be our favorite players. Might not be the best players in position, but we we don't want to forfeit games right now. And you never know, we can get results from a, a game like uh, Mexico. But trust me, it's going to be overly difficult to go into the Azteca and have a pickup squad and do well against Mexico. Then another home game, if possible. Because of the no movement situation, <laughs> trust me. It's it's a real world that we're living in, real situation, and 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 the clubs they are protecting their investment because you see international teams are going to be hard hit, but if if things are released, then the Premier League clubs are going to be hard hit. So six or one half does not the other. And I mean, trust me, the man with the more money probably get the talk, you know. And that, that seems to be what is happening where the Premier League clubs are concerned. I mean, con contingency plan should be up and running by now. Should be up and running. Um, I don't know how our talks are in, in terms of the government in, in, in UK. It's your best that can be solved, um, giving the players a, 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 a little leeway because, I mean, they would also be going on uh, through strict strict um, stuff as if they were were, were at the, the, the mandatory um, hotel. So, I mean, the clubs and, 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 and the government can work something out. That could be a solution, but will they want to go through that? That's the thing. Players aren't going to be able to train and all of these things if they go through quarantine. It's just, it just tough, people. It's just a, a situation that we have to deal with. So the, the, the JFF should be, should be putting a, a, a new 23 together right now to ensure that you know we still have a, 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 a team that can go and compete over there in Mexico, which is going to be very difficult. But that's how the thing is. So we hope that it will be sorted out. Thanks for tuning in, people. Big up yourself. We're out.